Eric is selling raffle tickets for a school fundraiser. Each ticket costs $3, and he knows the amount of money he collects is a function of how many tickets he sells. What are the domain and range for that function? So let's write the, the function for how much money he collects. So I'll call that m. m. The function will be m, and it's a function of how many tickets he sells. So it's a function of t for tickets. So m, the amount of money he collects, is a function of the number of tickets he sells. And it's a pretty straightforward function. Every ticket costs $3. He gets $3 for every ticket. So it's going to be 3 times t dollars, or 3t dollars. That's how much money he collects. Now, they ask us, what are the domain and range for that function? And it sounds all fancy and difficult, but just remember, the domain the domain, this just means, what, what can I input into the function? Can I input input into, into the function? So another way to think about it is, what are the possible t's that can be input into this function? The range is, what are the possible values that the function can take on? So think about it. He might at first say, oh, well, I could put any t there. But think about the actual reality of what he's doing. He is selling tickets. And so we can't sell negative tickets. He might sell zero tickets. And he might sell a gazillion tickets. I guess he could sell an infinite amount of tickets. At some point, that becomes unrealistic. But he definitely can't sell negative tickets. He also is not going to sell half of a ticket. Every ticket he sells is a, is a whole number. It's an integer. So the domain, the domain for this function, the domain, the, the domain, we could say t, t has to be has to be a non-negative, a non-negative, non-negative integer. I think that covers what I just talked about. Non-negative, instead of saying pause, because it could be zero. He might literally sell no tickets. He can't sell a negative one ticket or negative two. So he, he, it's anything that's non-negative, and it has to be an integer. He can't sell half of a ticket. So that, and he definitely, well, it, it has to be an integer. So that's our domain. And let's think about what our range is. Our range is the possible values that we can take on. If t is always going to be a non-negative integer, then what's 3t always going to be? Well, it's going to be a non-negative multiple of 3. So non, non negative multiples multiples of 3 think about it you can he'll never be able to collect $2 because he could either sell zero tickets and collect get nothing let me write this down he might sell zero tickets so m of 0 he's going to get $0 m of if he sells one ticket he's going to get $3 if he sells two tickets He's going to get six dollars, so he's never going to be able to get two or four. Every every possible value for the amount of money he collects for our function has to be a multiple of three. It's going to be a non-negative multiple of three because the domain is non-negative integers.